Okay, this is a quick video on how to use the Harrier in DSL mode or depressed sightline mode. Uh, there's loads of information out there for using CCRP um, or CCIP uh, using various different delivery methods. Uh, this uh, depressed sightline mode is essentially a reversionary system um, that gives you a manual uh, reticle to aim against if you uh, find yourself with no bombing computer, which in DCS normally means that you've um, taken some AAA, uh, but you still need to get your weapons away, this is the best way of doing it. It's also good for training because it allows you to standardize all your profiles and get in the habit of coming up with um, accurate and repeatable deliveries. So to set this up, we're gonna bring up the weapons page. As you can see, I've done that on the right hand MPCD here. Um, we're going to select the weapon, in this case the Mark 82, and we're going to hit the sight button on the right hand side. Now the sight button is going to uh, allow us to use, uh, to define the depression angle in milliradians. So I've selected 138 here. Uh, you need to look at the uh, TACMAN um, 050 tables to figure out exactly which um, depression angle you need to fit for your particular weapons. Now. Uh, if you do a Google search for uh, TACMAN050, you will find it. It's a little bit harder to find than the others, but it is out there. Um, so with 138 mil set, the next thing we're going to do is carry on and configure the aircraft, as you would for any other delivery method. So at a ground mount mode on, master mode on. Uh, this time we're going to hit DSL uh, on the left-hand side of the weapon control computer um, instead of CCIP or auto, as you would normally do. I'm going to deliver two weapons with a 40 foot spacing, given that these this delivery method is slightly less accurate than usual. Uh, and for this particular run, we're going to do a 30 degree dive and aim to get the weapons away at about the minimum release altitude, which in the tables is 2,300 feet. Uh, if you deviate from that, if you're uh, early, you will probably find that the bombs fall a little bit short, or if you're late, they fall long. Um, in this case, at the minimum altitude, if you lately risk going into the frag envelope. So the first thing I'm going to do here, because this is a pretty steep dive from altitude, um, is I'm just going to uh, roll about 20 degrees off target um, and then level out just so I can acquire the target. Now, if I pause just here, you can see that the target is in the center of the uh, intersections for the two runways. Um, and if you look on the HUD and imagine those uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 uh, degree nose down um, pitch ladders extending all the way down to 30, that gives me a rough idea of where the target is in relation to the aircraft. Um, so I'm about two miles. I know I'm about 30 degrees now, so I'm going to roll in, uh, put the lift vector in the direction of the target. You can see those pitch ladders now are indicating to me that I'm pretty much where I want to be. I'm a little bit shallow, but it's close enough. Um, we're now going to level out. You'll see also that the uh, reticle is well stabilized. Now, even though that is the case, it's still uh, the aim here is to release when the uh, wings are level. So we're getting pretty close now. We're at 4,300 feet. Uh, the speed is fast. Uh, the depression angle I've got set is for 450, but it's just a quick demo. Um, but the dive angle is at 30, so essentially I'm just going to ride this down um, until the um, bombing reticle is on the target, which is now. And you can see I'm at 2,600 feet rad out, which is about 300 foot higher than I want to be. I'm a little bit faster uh, by about 50 knots, uh, but the dive angle is good. See the flash there, the uh, pickle button going off. And then you watch the weapons come down. There you go. Two bombs from about 2,300 feet, uh, completely manual mode. And they are pretty much spot on target. Now, if you keep practicing this and get it repeatable, this is just as accurate as um, CCRP or CCIP. Um, the only uh, issue here is that you just need to standardize your approach procedures. So if you're used to doing low level delivery, uh, using high drags, then you need to find the data that you, uh, for your, your high, dag, high drag delivery. Um, and if you're like us and you tend to plan for each mission and make sure that you understand what your delivery method is going to be before you can take off from the ground, it's also it's always good having these figures in the back of your head just in case something does go wrong. Okay, that's it. I'm going to stop there. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'll put them in the comments and I'll try and address them. Thanks.